With the help of the Canadian Centre for DNA Barcoding, or CCDB, the International Barcode of Life Project is creating a barcode reference database of short standardized gene regions. Their goal is the identification and discovery of 5 million specimens from more than 500,000 species over the next five years. On a typical day, the CCDB processes between 20 and 40 96 well sample plates. Starting samples for DNA extraction come from various sources, such as insect legs, ethanol fixed tissue, dried plants, and fungal tissue. First, we'll demonstrate DNA extraction from an animal sample on a robotic platform. For robotic DNA extraction, the Liquidator 96 is used to set up the sample plate prior to moving to the robotic platform. The samples are incubated overnight in the presence of lysis buffer and protonase K at 56 degrees Celsius. When the amount of tissue exceeds the CCDB's standard, more lysis buffer is added to the sample. 50 microliters of lysate are transferred to a clean microplate for DNA extraction using the Liquidator 96. The plates are then placed on the Cytomat Hotel, which delivers them to the robotic deck for further processing. Next up, DNA extraction from plant samples. This is a plate containing plant lysate, which was incubated for one hour and 65 degrees in setup buffer. Here we have the plate with 350 microliters of plant lysate that was just spun on the centrifuge. A plate containing 100 microliters of plant binding buffer and a glass fiber plate with a 1 micron glass membrane that DNA will bind to during the DNA extraction process. The lid of the Liquidator 96 tip box is sterile and can be used as a reservoir. From a plate containing two bracts with plant extract in lysis buffer, 50 microliters of lysate is transferred from the 96 well tube rack to a plate that contains 100 microliters of binding buffer. The ability to change the volume in the middle of the sample processing steps is just one example of the liquidator's flexibility. After adjusting the volume to 150 microliters and, without touching off, 150 microliters of sample is transferred to the 96 well DNA extraction plate with the glass fiber membrane on the bottom. The liquidator's four working platforms are ideal for moving back and forth among various sample preparation processes. After carefully dispensing the sample, the extraction plate is sealed and spun on a centrifuge at 5000 G for five minutes to bind DNA to the membrane. DNA binding is followed by two wash steps. First, the DNA extraction plate is placed on a fresh support plate to collect the protein wash buffer. Without touching the membrane, which could damage it, 180 microliters of protein wash buffer is then dispensed to a glass fiber plate. A multi-channel pipette can also be used to perform some of the liquid handling steps. After a second wash step with 750 microliters of low salt ethanol buffer, the binding plate is removed from the centrifuge, placed on a fresh plate, and transferred to the dryer where it is incubated at 56 degrees Celsius for one hour. To finish, 40 to 50 microliters of warm water is then added and the plate is spun at 5000 G to elute pure DNA from the membrane. The result? A plate containing pure DNA that is ready for further analysis. The advantage of using Liquidator is that it allows you to control the speed because it allows you really slow aspiration and really slow dispense. Liquidator is really flexible. It allows you to hold the handle with one hand without dispensing the blowout volume, while with second hand, you can change the volume, which will allow you to move to the next step uh, in a single motion without interruption of the process and introducing any bubbles and cross-contaminations between samples.